Hello, and welcome back to Dyson's Fair Program. I'm Ivan. Now, in the last episode, we set up the smelting planet. We also ran out of absolutely everything. Uh, fuel, <laughs> belts, uh, smelters. We only have one stack left of the sorters as well. So we need to go, go home and make almost everything. So let's let's just start flying home. Let's find our oh that wasn't too difficult to find our way. Let's make sure we hit now. We are out of fuel, so uh, we need to not spend all of it uh, on acceleration. And also, I think the gas giant is behind. Uh, no, in front of the planets, so I'm trying to stay away from it so we don't get sucked into its gravity field. That would be bad. Or I guess we could land on it, pick up a bunch of fire, ice and hydrogen to use as fuel. So that would actually work. Anyway, while we are down here, we are going to look into science and we're also going to build these. So we have all of these things in the mall except this and that needs silicon titanium alloy and carbon nanotube and we make those exactly here well that's that's a lucky quinky dink so let's uh, stuff those into a box here borrow them a bit from the science we probably don't need more than that we probably don't need more science anyway for now. I think we are done with most of it. Let's quickly check how we're doing on the science. Uh, difficult. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Okay, so we are actually capped on that one. That means we can afford doing this. That's nice. Uh, we also needed the silicon, but the silicon is here. Yes. So let's look at the rest of it. Uh, not just this, but this. It's. I think it should fit here. Actually, we have items crossing that makes it fit perfectly, I think. Let's see. Do we. Yeah, this one just loops around. This one doesn't take it from here. So this one can, yes. And it was this, right? Yes, that's two. Then we need the blue engines. Oh, that's a bit more awkward. They come here. But they go to, not this one, but this one. So what if we just bring it up as a third belt? Let's do that. This one needs to move. And I guess we don't need this. No. This anymore. So if we go here, because this one needs it, right? Yes. Good. Then, uh, let's see. And we just bring it up here. That doesn't work because this one needs it. So let's make a little squiggle, squiggle it around there. Oh, and we don't have valves. Just looting the box. There we go. Do we hate this too much? Mm, no, I think it's fine. We don't have that many items uh, that we need in the uh, in the mall anymore. So I think we have room for anything. Anything and everything. Let's see. Uh, where are the there? Where are the there? There we go. This is going to be. This one is temporary TM. And this one needs this. So hopefully we can bring one under the belt. That oh, looks like it works. And then we do this. And then we do a box. Yeah, 
so in this box we're going to have two materials one is the silicon so i guess we just steal a few stacks here let's do around 15 stacks and then we go to this box and take it all ah that's nice money already so where's the box there's the box Okay, two inserters, one for the silicon, one for the other thing, Gra graphene, graphene loopies, what is it, carbon nanotubes, yes, oh exactly what I said, so it's correct, so this leads to this, hopefully, did it, yes, and now we just need the graphene, which Oh no, we can't. Well, I think we can. If we say cut it like so, remove this. Um, let's remove this first. Then we go down. And then we go up. Does this actually work? Well, let's see. Do you fit? <laughs> yes, but can we put both of the inserters now? Well, that works. And this works. Ah, that that actually works. That's funny. So, so I guess we could have brought this one here and then went down and then gone up again. But I kind of like this little slope. Could have gone down here as well and yeah. Many solutions to the same problem. Uh, this game has a tendency to have that. That's one of the things that makes some of these games quite good. So now I think we have enough things. They need four each and we need 20. So that's 80 for one, right? Yes. So oh, we have at least 10. Uh, let's bring whatever we have in the box once more and then we should be fine. Yeah. Uh, what else did we want to fix? I don't think there was anything uh, we needed to fix before we left. It was just getting all the things we need. This was one of them. Fuel. And belts. We, we have belts now we took all of it let's take all of it again and smelters i think we took all of them i think we need to increase this in case we need more later uh, we want purples i don't need a lot of those i think one array usually uses three it was six for two lines i believe so then we go here oh we have all of these that's nice what else did we need i don't want to forget anything when we go back now we don't need more power for now we don't need miners really inserters sor sorters we also need these used a few because of the deuterium storage is fine Assembler is fine. Oh, we need to stop by here before we go to the lava planet anyway, because we need to pick up these. So uh, we're fine on this. We don't need more of these. We had a lot. Uh, let's do a few more towers. 30 seems too much. Hmm. 30 is way too much. Let's bring 20 instead. That's that's going to be fine. Research. No, no. Oh, maybe we can set this up in the... No, <laughs> we don't have anything for this. So what I was thinking with this one, the reason for that being temporary is because we're going to import this, basically. The only thing this needs... Yeah, the, the only thing that's needed for that... Wait. The only thing that is using that item 
English words, words, and then words leads to this. But I'm not even sure if we are going to use fusion power. But we'll see. If we do, we will import some of these as well. And good. I think we are good to go. Let's let's just quickly uh, check on the science now. This is completely stopped. Be oh, yeah. Everything here has everything. This one, yeah, ten thousand buffered. I'm not going. I don't think this one is producing enough, but it's fine. Maybe, maybe we should fix the storage a bit. Let's do that while we are here. Uh, we have a few speed upgrades now. So I think if we don't have decent speed or more than one inserter, let's see, let's, let's see if this works. If we only have one inserter out, it can't output fast enough. I remember that from last time. So, so I thought, oh, well, if we if we upgrade the speed, we should also upgrade the speed of putting back on the belt. Well, let's say we did this, this and this, and the purple one is happy. So that's nice. These upgrades aren't something we need yet, so I'm not going to do them, I think. Um, I think we're going to do one more speed. Yeah, let's do one more speed before we get the rest. I think, yeah, I think this is a good plan. Uh, it, it, the speed doesn't really matter that much at this stage in the game anyway, because it's all about the production. But our production is amazing. Uh, way too good, actually. So if you do this at home, it's not necessarily the best thing to, to go for this much science. But I like it because when we now get to spy science, we don't have to redo all of the science to actually get somewhere. I think we're going to get somewhat far, at least into it, uh, into the infinite science by uh, what we have producing already. But it's going to take a lot of work to, to get the to get the antimatter and the, the last science before we get there. So we aren't done yet. Let's see, you have seven. Going to start with the, going to start with the vessels. I think that's a good place to start. And then we finish up the, then we, oh, let's see, there we go. This is something we want to import to main planet as well. This as well for engines. So it is going to be nice to finish this off. Let's see. There and there. Now, do we do we care enough to do the fourth row right now? I think we do. I think um, it's nice to be organized when. Uh, when building big, so we don't have to. Uh, so so we we don't have to go back for uh, every little thing. No building range. Let's fly a bit. Uh, that was. Yeah, we don't need to do this incrementally because we don't right now have anything amazing to gain by doing that. I guess the only thing we get by doing it incrementally right now is we make our bots build a bit quicker, which is of course a good thing. Oh, let's place uh, at least one. Let's see here. A measuring smelter. Uh, yeah, so, so what we get by expanding science now is basically a bit faster bots and a bit of mining efficiency. There's nothing else that's going to be improved by doing other stuff first. That's why the incremental part is spiraling kind of by building a bit of this and a bit of that and one of that and so on is very useful in the beginning of the game. 
because the tech makes such a huge difference. Uh, but now, it doesn't. It, it does make some, but not a huge difference. So I think it's worth being organized because then we remember that we have four lines of each of the material. Oh, why? Sorter. I guess we just copy this. And this 15, 30. And 45. The bots are doing their thing. It would, of course, be nice with more bots. So, uh, oh, yeah. Wait. If, thank you. Let's see. One task and one. Yeah, th this one is actually quite major. Oh, and there's infinite science on them as well. Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be fun to see. And infinite science on the, on the move speed as well, travel speed. I think. I think everything is going to be built very quickly in the end. I was, I'm surprised the building bots had infinite science. So did we place, no. Good. Oh, we did. It's just that they aren't there. This one we didn't fill though. There we go. And then, what did we just? Yeah, we have used the full, the full thing, so it didn't matter where we went from. Okay, so how how far did we get and what did we do? We talked about the double clicking thing, I think. Yes. So it was all the way back here. Belt. Click. Click to place. Click to attach. Click to place. Click to attach. So double click. And we do that all the way. it's occupied. Why? Because we already tested something here and we tore it down. Probably. Well, I guess we just had to zoom a bit. Glide. With what? Here and here and there. And we have a loop. This loop needs to be powered as well. So on this one we skip two. Skip two. Oh, and yeah, this is where we we uh, didn't know what to do. But I guess we just considered this like part of the thing. Yeah. I'm going to fill them below instead and then we just aim up because this is misaligned and that's no fun so here oh what why okay I like that the uh, product follows us now. Yeah. There. There, let's place these first. We also need to place all of the outputs. So that's going to be fun uh, when we are used to everything being convenient. That part is not convenient, I think. So it's going to be is this wrong? Yeah. Oh well. Let's see. So let's just try to line the power ish now. Here. And here. And 
sure. And now we have a loop. We're actually running out. I can see that the Oh no, that's because they they kind of eat them before they spit them through. So what we need to do now. Oh, I guess we need all of the belts. Let's start in the other direction for that. This is fun. They don't have outputs, so that means they're going to clog. Oh, this is going to be a pain, isn't it? Because, yeah, we actually need to aim this. Let's see if we can... This might be the first time I thought about using the other mode, but I think as we get into this, this is going to be not the slowest thing in the world. So that's good. So we have this one. That doesn't work. Uh, and I need to remember to not connect this one in. This is to merge on the outside belt. So let's do the deuterium belt first here. Here we go. Now, when it comes to space, it is actually possible to to um, let, have two belts out. We don't need to build another array. We can just elongate and have one of the output belts go up to the second floor and then overlap all the way back. And that is possibly something we do later when we upgrade the smelters at least. I don't think we're going to do it on the deuterium though. Hopefully we find a gas giant with it so we can mine it as well. And also this is going to produce quite a lot. 100 should be, yeah, quite a lot. Uh, so we need to make sure that we have enough uh, hydrogen being put into the loop on the side. That's just optimizing though. When we have done the output here now, we don't actually need to do anything. Stuff is stopped here. Something's wrong. I guess it's because deuterium blocks it. Yes. Good. So what we need to do now is get the bonus belt, the refill. Let's see. So that's going to go here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to move these out a bit. Like so, we need to we need to make sure we can connect them at least. Yeah, that's better. So we just pull one out like so. And and uh, what I didn't do now is set the priority. We need to do that after as well. We also need to make sure that everything is connected. That's something that's something that we will go over on the, on the second second pass. Sounds like we're doing quality assurance. Well I guess that's what we are. So fitting term ish. Let's see, one more out. And then we go all the way back here. We move this here. And then we go here. I could go like this. Uh, do I do that or do No, I'm, I'm just going to move it. I think that's going to look a bit smoother. So in and in. And in. One. Oh, 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 oh. Right click kidnapped me for a second. It's over 
scary thing that's right click and here we are we are looping around and I think do we just push it back in yeah I'm not sure if I like that um, no we're going to go here and over and then we're going to merge into this belt uh, with priority let's see here we go this belt goes here a oh, beautiful squiggle just a little corner and and input priority there good and then we set the whole thing so one more loop this thing needs priority there good i think that's the only thing we need to do i guess this thing doesn't really need a priority let's set it anyway so this one there, this one there, yes. Oh, and here we need the belt, this one here, and this one there. By prioritizing the splitting it into the array, we can look at the belt to see if we are refilling it with enough, but I think we are. I definitely think we are. I think this belt of 30 uh, circling hydrogen a second is enough. I'm also going to do one here now that I think about it. That's going to be here, here. This one has an input priority there. Yeah, that's definitely one of the places it's convenient with uh, one of these. And here. Good. So far, so good. It looks like we have a lot of things going in because we didn't have priority and there. Here, here, it's being built, following the hydrogen, and here, priority, priority, input output, and here, I hope I didn't do anything wrong now to mix the belts, but I don't think so. No, this looks good actually, this looks this looks awesome. We have stuff coming all the way around, which is a sign that we have enough to fill as well. And we have the primary filler belt. I guess that could could have been the sign. No, it's fine like this. Not a lot is coming around though. This is a lot of deuterium. A lot. <laughs> it's, it's almost a full belt. This one, this has to wait for a second there. It is a bit random, of course, because it's a chance. But yes, deuterium complete. Good. Uh, you need vessels like so. And that, as they say, is that. So we have all of the things now, deuterium included. We don't have uh, let's fly i think i'm going to leave this planet now or ever no a bit temporary i'm i am coming back i i'm probably coming back to something i forgot to do that i should have done right now as we are flying but i didn't because i forgot and that would mean i have to come back but that's okay we can look at the beautiful deuterium factory Although it will probably be stopped because we have enough deuterium. 
So, uh, here we are. I think we're going to import the deuterium right away. Yeah, together with some blue engines obtainable. Uh, oh, blue engines obtainable. This thing obtainable. So it can go here. It's almost like we, we want to remove this right now, but I think we're just going to build it next to it. This is, oh, I misaligned it now. Let's see. Yeah. Is it going here? No. Here. Yes. That's my measuring thing. Fuel rod. Deuterium. Heavy water. Or, I guess, one, one can obtain deuterium from heavy water. There we go. And there we go. That's enough to make the fuel. I I didn't I didn't really think of it. I didn't plan to make fuel right now, but then I looked at the recipe and I saw that oh that's convenient in the mall right now. This is hydrogen. Let's burn it. Um and you need the blue engines that we seem to have a lot of right now. Let's connect here and then let's look at our engines hmm. decent not many greens but decent amount of blues and i guess when we have the blues we get the greens because the blues won't take the greens anymore oh it's going to take a second though to fill it up and also this needs to be remote demand right don't need that much. Chill, chill. There we go. And you need to be, say, eight stacks. Probably need less of this, but hey. Nine of these. Do we have ten? We have ten before we go. That should be more than enough. And that's also, I think, a 120 megawatts of power. So, I think... We might not turn them all on at the same time. So, plop. Uh, we have some science in our bag. Let's get rid of it as well. And here we go. Uh, let's see. Good. We aren't doing science right now. Vertical construction is green. We don't have green. Uh, I think we are done in the upgrades. Let's do, let's do this. Let's see. <laughs> the speed. Oh, the speed. Yeah, this is nice. It might slow down a bit because we can't, we can't keep up. And I think the blues. Yeah, th this one won't get enough blues because the buffer chest is inside. But it's fine. Doesn't matter. We aren't close to building them anyway. So now that we have all the things we need, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, we have all the things we need. We're just going to fly straight up to... Up? Is it up? I don't know. This one looks to be up. But where's the other one? Well, we lost a the planet. There? No, that's the same one. Oh, it's behind the sun. Of course it is. It's always, always as far away. Oh, we can follow the logistic vessel. Yes. We can't go lost then. This this star is quite bright. I guess I'm looking straight at the sun, which is unhealthy. So please wear sunglasses while watching this. Uh, let's see. Land. Let's see if we land anywhere near where we want to go. We didn't, I think. I don't know where it is. No, it's not that far. This. 
this isn't running very quickly right now. I think it's all about the all about the silicon. No. Why? Oh. Oh. It's not running at all because we are capped. <laughs> Who'd have thought? So, uh, you want remote demand, remote demand, remote demand. Ah, oh, this is fun. Shwoop, shwoop. And we have all the things. Good. Um, let's find out where to put it. You want copper. Let, let's start at the beginning so we see the move, actually. That's fine. So we want uh, 5,000 of each. Let's do 5,000 of each. I wonder if the vessels here can bring or the other way and then pick up. It probably can't because it's not the same tower anyway. Maybe that's an argument to make it the same tower. I don't know. This is nice. Okay, so what are we doing now? We are refueling the Mac at least. We've got fuel, didn't we? Ah, we have enough. Okay, we have enough. Let's circle ourselves just in case. So you need. Uh, oh, oh, this is where we need to make sure we add the correct thing. Because this one uses. To every one second yeah one second it uses two so it's two four six eight sixteen okay so so why did we split these because we're sending them to different places i think and for some reason some reason i think i thought i think i thought that they needed more than a full belt of something it doesn't look like it now so I might have done some miscounting. It happens. And then we have the stones we walk into. Let's see. We need to make sure we have enough outputs on this thing, but it has six more, so I think we should be fine. There we go. I'm going to finish every step now, I think. So we have sorter, sorter, and Order. Copy. That's one of them. We have the other one. This belt fits, yes. Good. The power fits between. So that's here and here. That wasn't too hard. Here and here we already have one. Good. Um, so this was going... I need to count this. This was strange. One second for two and we needed 16 each. We have 32 machines. Yes, 16 each. Good. So, you, when you get the power, go all the way up here, that's fine. And you, when you have the power, go in this direction as well. Could have gone up a floor, but I'm going to go here. And then we check the recipe quickly to see what's needed the most of and that's iron plate so that's going to be the closest one so this one goes here and i see that the um, gears are going as well and then we need the iron plate for both of these probably two different belts probably let's do one here um, then this way yes 
here. Yes. There we go. Then we need iron to this. So that's the middle one. And it goes up here now. Let me here. Good. And this is where we needed two belts, right? Sixteen of these. Okay, I'm confused again now. If <laughs> Yeah, they only need th this one, thirty-two machines means 32 iron but only 16 thingamabobs okay so they need two belts of iron yes so what we do is we bring the third here this one needs to go up a floor anyway maybe we bring it up by a lot so it can go over the machines let's see Oh, this is way too far up though. Do we like it? No, don't really. Let's do, uh, let's go all the way down and go up one. So we have this and then we go up in this direction until we go over. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, this is better. Then we go down to second and go down to first. A bit, mm, a bit, mm, but this is one of the one one of the things we're going to go. We're not going to give in. That's what I'm going to say. And I think the sorters will be fine as well. So sorters for this part. 15 and 16. Then we do the sorters for this part. Why do we not have anything here? Because we didn't finish the belt. Okay, that's fine. So we have in, in and in. And then we need uh, one out as well and then we copy to 32 different ones 15 16 and belts 15 yes we counted correctly 15 and 16 Did What's the third? Oh, is it this one? Oh, we just didn't bring the belt. 16. Yeah, it's enough with one belt, right? Right? I feel like it's not enough. They only need one each. They make one every second so it's 16 a second yeah it's fine it's fine every step of the way uh, i kind of have an opportunity to do mistakes and chances are that mistakes are happening there we go so let's do the same up here we have this one so let's go here I don't like this one I like this one and this one this one and this one yeah Good. we are now actually making engines out of imported materials that makes me happy 
this is also one of those places where we could connect engines to um let's see okay work where we could connect engines to a place that uh, exports them if we have an overflow i think right now we have an overflow of almost 16 a second of them so that would be nice and here we have the greens they i need two items yes let's do a count how many machines looks like 16 so that means we need eight no, we need 16 of the stuff, and that's exactly what we counted, I think. <laughs> now, this one, do we want it in the tower or not? I think, I think we do. I think it would be fun to see, oh, suddenly we have 10,000 extra green engines. Not that I expect that we will, but if it somehow happens, that would be fun both fun and fine. Let's see. Two and two. Good. Now we have green engines being made out of imported materials. I guess we import this <laughs> after smelting. So it's, it's traveled quite far to get two tiles over. But yes. Good, good. Uh, this one needs the copper from here. This is nice. I need a belt of copper. Let's just pull it out of the uh, lodge station. It's very convenient. I guess this patch is all about convenience. There we go. And these, they need to output something as well. Now let's see. We can remove these oh let's click back and then we can place our and colliders i don't think this is going to end well if we place 10 colliders now we're out of power instantly so maybe we only place some of them let's look into it when we get that far so this one is a special case it needs in it needs filter out and filter out that's the special part the filter and we go here and here we have the icon that looks like an r because we need to run the um, extra hydrogen but i don't think we brought anything to get rid of it this time either so maybe we ship it or store it for now in tanks. I do want to run it though. But what we do, I think this is a, this is going to be like a temporary tower that's going to have hydrogen. And because of this belt RB, I hope we're going to remember it. This is everything supply. I'm going to add vessels to it as well, because if something needs hydrogen I think a vessel will leave right away hopefully um, there we go it needs power uh, there is a forum discussion right now on uh, on steam the steam forums about this game that talks about uh, hydrogen and wanting uh, a burn stack just something you can plug it into and it will burn it so it goes away and someone said that if that's introduced to the game, you might as well not have hydrogen as a secondary output on stuff because it's one of the puzzles of the game and it will be removed. And I think that post kind of made a lot of sense. I think everyone, when they have this hydrogen, thinks, oh, this is annoying. Uh, but I like the puzzle part of it, I think. So... Uh, I feel like that argument holds water. Water. So, so when I look at it now, I'm looking at it as just part of the puzzle. Most of the time, it's very easy to get rid of because you just burn it. 
but not always. Uh, one of the things here is that the um, power is going to be mostly mostly um, made by by uh, solar panels and it's if you have a lot of them a lot won't burn in satisfactory a, a burner uh, burner the coal the coal plants for instance always run at full speed always so they always eat the same maximum amount well in this game they balance it with all of the others so if you use 70 percent of available power they will run at 70 percent and so will the wind mines or the turbines and the solar panels as well so it's a different approach then again uh, in satisfactory the uh, outputs the mines have infinite resources so it just makes it easier in that game i think well in this game it would be convenient with a toggle to to have a burner uh power plant that you could click a button on to say always run at full speed but then again it might also take away from some of the puzzle so it might not be a good idea okay so now we have these uh i think <laughs> i think we need a lot of them <laughs> eight uh, it's not that bad we need 16. <laughs> we need 16. let's make 10 and see see where where it goes from there there we go how much how much idle power uh idle drain do they have 120 kilowatts that's a lot oh and we're already struggling yeah so so i'm going to see how many we want of these and then i might disconnect the others we'll see so what are you going to make you're going to make pink barbells so what we need the most up here is definitely definitely deuterium so that's going to be i think i'm going to put it above no i'm going to put these uh let's see two from so here right one two and three yes here and I'll just drag it all the way and then we need uh, iron that comes from this place I guess we could have shipped nah not going to ship iron from the other one it's too far away now and um, and uh, in this series I'm not going to be uh, as scared of making uh, logistic stations I was I didn't want many of them last time but for now in this series I think I'm going to try to build as many as I need so these need 10 every eight seconds then well we need 20 a second basically to my two a second so one belt is actually enough we have deuterium here yes so that would go there, there. I wonder how long it's going to take before I mess up the icon, uh, hydrogen and deuterium. Probably not a very long time. So these buildings were a bit bigger than <laughs> the previous one, the, the ones I measured for. So it looks like, it looks like this mining is going to be a bit less efficient but that's that's completely fine it doesn't matter so we have the inputs there let's put the inputs in and then we have the output which goes to the temporary station we we kind of want them here if we don't if we don't finish the thing uh, where is it 
No, not there. Not there. It's the egg. There. Built in an assembler. Hmm. I think we're going to ship the green ones home. So, this thing is actually just stacking up. This isn't good. This will fill up at some point. So, if we bring this this way, th this one is full. It's also oh, 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 oh all of the all of them, oh, yes, and um, all of the all of them. Let's just use the temporary tower. Uh, maybe it suddenly turns into not so temporary, but I think I think I will be able to live with that. Nice building range. Here we go. Here we go. And there. Good. Might as well just make as many as we can. Now, how many of these do we actually turn on? I don't know. Right now, we only need it for warpers but when we do the signs we need to turn them all on so we might as well get more power up here before we turn them on but we'll see when everything starts working now we'll let's see this yeah this works and that's on this tile let's start with four and see what happens Why aren't you connected? It was too far away. Oh, and we need to set the recipe. And we need to set the recipe for all of them. That's four of them. And this is fine on power right now. This is, however, going to go Oh no, it's not fine. It's below. Oh, I wish I had the burner power plant. Yeah. So let's do three of them. That's better. Three of them is fine. This is beautiful. I think... Yeah, this is beautiful. So what we what uh, have we achieved now? We have achieved if we have three of them on, one every three seconds ish. Seven and a half a minute, so twenty two and a half a minute. Why aren't you out bit in the car? Didn't we didn't set the but this one let's do that on all of them. So this is, uh, I'm completely forgetting the time. I looked at the time now and uh, it is definitely time to stop. Uh, but this is, this is great. I feel like, I feel like this is, this is happy times achievement. And it would be if this one was working at least. Why, why did that one go away? Oh, the sound of the is good. So, um, we now we can make warpers anyway. This is what we want right now, it's the warpers. So, in the next episode, I think we're going to finish the graviton lenses to, to get the warpers, but we won't finish the next science until we get uh, the organic crystals. Uh, those imported because then it's much easier to make the titanium crystals and a lot easier to make the casimir crystals which is awkward without if not we are going to find the optical grating crystals so we can make all of this a bit easier as well that's that's the plan and what we have here the production of the not the purple but the green 
the green. There. Good. This is going to keep us uh, fed with workers for a while. Oh. I guess the power here varies because of the because of the solar. Does that mean we turn on a fourth? Maybe we can no. I'm not going to blow us up, blow up the system right now. But I think uh, I think this is a very good start. We need the output for that one, of course. Uh, this is a very good start to, to all of the things. And since this one is producing so very much. Um, yes, it is producing so very much. We can see that at the engines right now. Jeez. Uh, this is going to be very nice for the science later as well. We, we do need two more of these, I think. No, we need more. It's 16. So we need to do something here. Maybe make a few squigglies or maybe just shift this belt. But we'll see. But now I think it's time to stop. We have beat the hour mark again. So I appreciate everyone who's been following this far. And I hope you are enjoying yourself because I really am. I This patch changed the game so much. So... Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed the spaghetti. Bye bye.